Hi, I'm Jennifer with FrecklePaws.com, located here in beautiful Hamilton, Montana. Today we have a special surprise for you. I'm doing an interview with Jack the Bitterroot Beagle, who is also the star of his latest acclaimed award-winning film, The Golden Bone. Jack, it's a real pleasure to be able to interview you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy filming schedule. It's so nice to meet you. You're even more handsome in person. Why, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate your invitation to interview me and your generous compliment, too. Yes, I am quite handsome. And check out this physique. I keep in shape by hiking, running on the treadmill, and lifting weights. Jack, did you dream of being a movie star when you were a puppy? No, actually I didn't. When I was little, all I wanted to do was play and get into mischief. I was very good at it, too. Jack, most stars have someone who has inspired them in their film career. Do you have anybody in particular who inspired you? Yes, my big sister Athena was. She was a dark chocolate Labrador retriever. We always said that she was even sweeter than a regular chocolate. When we were filming the Golden Bone movie, Athena got bone cancer. She never cried or fussed about it either. She was so strong and always in good spirits. She is in heaven now and I miss her so much. Let's move on to the next question, or I'm going to start crying. Jack, what draws me to you is not only your handsome looks, but your sense of adventure and the way you use your celebrity to help children and animal causes. Tell me some more about your work at Camp Make-A-Dream. Camp Make-A-Dream is a real special place. I just love it. Kids with cancer go there during the summer and enjoy many activities like roasting marshmallows, fly fishing, and archery. But most of all, they just have fun and act like normal kids. I'm so excited that they've invited me back again this year. I have something very special in store for them. I'm going to be there for a few days and film a music video for them. I even get to sleep with them in cabins and sing at the campfire. We're even going to make s'mores. I can't wait. Jack, you've also done work with Best Friends Animal Society. Tell me a little about the organization and why it's so special to you. Yes, I did a public service announcement for their 25th anniversary. Best Friends Animal Society is one of the largest pet sanctuaries in the country. They have a huge staff that is very knowledgeable, and they work so hard to find homes for all my animal friends. Animals is a local organization that I have the pleasure of working with myself. Can you tell me a little about the work you've done with Animals? Karen and the other dedicated people at Animals do a terrific job with their food bank and no-kill shelter. Many of my animal friends don't even have enough to eat, and some don't even have a home like you or I do. It's so sad. But thanks to Animals and all the people and organizations that support them, more and more of my friends now have a full stomach, a warm place to sleep, and a family that loves them. That makes me very happy. Jack, you have two critically acclaimed films. Can you tell me about your first one, The Adventures of Jack the Bitterroot Beagle? This movie was made for dogs and their people. Unlike most movies, mine keeps the dog's attention. Some people even turn it on when they leave for work, and their dogs will sit down and watch it. It's kind of like a babysitter. Unlike other movies for dogs, The Adventures of Jack the Bitterroot Beagle has a storyline, talking animals and enjoyable background music. The best thing about my movie is that I donate the profits from it to animal shelters, rescues, and other nonprofit animal organizations. These organizations can even sell it themselves and keep the profits. It's a great way to help take care of my less fortunate animal friends. Jack, your second movie, The Golden Bone, really showcases the beauty of the Bitterroot Valley. How fortunate do you feel to live here? I feel so blessed to live here in western Montana. To wake up in the morning and see spectacular snow-capped mountains a couple of miles away is simply breathtaking. I wish all my animal friends can come visit me. I would not only teach them how to walk across a log over a stream or take a bite out of a glacier without getting a brain freeze, but I would show them how to appreciate all the beauty that Mother Nature has bestowed on our great state. Jack, do you have any immediate plans for another feature film? Yes, we are currently working on a script for another movie. As it develops, I will certainly let my fans know. Do you have a website that our viewers can visit you on? You bet! They can visit me at bitterabeagle.com and on Facebook. I sure would enjoy having them contact me. 
Okay, Jack, here's the big question for all those ladies just dying to know. Are you still available? Well, I was up until this interview, but I think I just found my true love. Are you married, Jennifer? Oh, Jack, yes I am. But if I wasn't, you'd be at the top of my list. Jack, it was a pleasure to interview you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Could I shake your paw? Oh, heck, how about a big kiss?